the first occasion in 26 years when midfield partnership has consisted of two players from the same school. Oh, it's brilliant to, to get three members on this year's football and hurling all stars. It's a great achievement for the school, especially for me and Chris to both get midfield this year. It's the first time it's ever happened in the awards history. But Sean McGonagall as well to get a football all star. It's, it's a great achievement for the school. It must reflect the good work going on in the school in football and hurling. Definitely, uh, Mr. Davy, James Davies from St. Gauls and Liam McKenna from Breda, putting a lot of work in at all levels from first year the whole way up and to training out mornings and lunch times it really reflects the work that they put in. This is the first All-Star award to go to St Michael's in no less than 17 years. So uh, she is the fourth ever All-Star in the 26 years of the scheme for St Michael's. Well obviously it's great you know it brings a good uh, sense to the school you know there's been players in the past who you'd think would get, would get an All-Star and obviously looking at the previous All-Stars you would think oh, it's a great achievement you know it's a prestigious award and um, Obviously, 16 years since, 16, 17 years since the last All Star, um, the Royal Avery, and obviously I'm just I'm pleased and uh, uh, chuffed to, to have uh, to get one as, as well as Ashley. Jimmy has um, McLaren Cup and Ireland B medals with Our kids in school are outstanding youngsters, you know. You know uh, anyone who was fortunate enough to come to see Les Miserables in the school saw the music and drama, a show that was sagging it on. You know, our girls are in local netball finals, or three out of four finals next week in Lisbon. Um, as regards girls' football, you know, they've, they're in a playoff to get to the semi final of under 20A colleges for the girls' football. Our kids are great kids, you know, and we're just delighted that, that we're not been glossed over or brushed over or forgotten about anymore. That everybody's starting to recognise that the kids in St Paul's are as good as the kids in every other school in the north of Ireland.